All right, and now he's coming in with his lightest vocal of the whole song. That's kind of just like a light, like R&B type vocal. So maybe it's like almost like the giving up stage. That, that's how I interpret it. What's going on, everybody? My name is Joey Natto. I am an artist slash music producer. If you want to hear some of my music, there's a link right in the description below. Now, I'm going to hit you guys with another artist that I haven't reacted to on this channel yet, but I'm going to. In this video, we're going to check out B Mike. B Mike has been putting out music on YouTube for years. Things are starting to look up now. But he has a song called Anxiety that seems to have, you know, kind of affected a lot of people. So I want to check it out. I'm going to be looking at it from a music production perspective, focusing on the production, but also the artist technique and everything like that as well so here we go b mike anxiety let's get into it that's a dope shot to start off That's a dope reveal of the title there. I like that. Michael? Uh, yeah. Right this way, please, Michael. What can I do? And what you have uh, basically going on here is just a female vocal harmonizing, stacking up here. And there's some kind of underlying, very light underlying kind of like bass line going on there. Not a lot of low end on it. Could have been just a synthesizer with very few high frequency sounds in it. But uh, I think I hear some piano chords kind of chiming in here. It's just building up the suspense right now. Do for you today. Uh, I just need something to take this edge off and I'll be on my way. Well, I can't just give them to you. The fuck? Why not? Why don't you take a seat? And we'll have a little chat. Every single day it breaks me to pieces. I taste the defeat at the feet of my demons. I'm such a fucking waste of achievement. I should put this trigger to my brain and just squeeze it. Cause Lord, I know I ain't been no saint. But tell I like how it kind of broke down here to these hi-hats, starting to give it like a little bit more of a um, trapped out type of feel, sort of. Like it, it almost sounds like, this might be a stretch, but it almost sounds like some dark, intense Bryson Tiller type joint, but his singing style definitely isn't like Bryson Tiller, but he definitely has like a really aggressive type of vocal coming across here. And the vocal is a good amount louder than the beat, which to me always means that the, they want, he wants you to hear the lyrics. Like the lyrics are a very important part of this, um, the song here. I was looking to see if there's subtitles. There's no subtitles, but um, and that's why I like this is uh you you might not listen to country, but for people that do, because I know I like listening to country. The lyrics are a lot of times the and the vocals are a lot of times way louder than the instrumental track because the instrumental um isn't as important as the vocals and the lyrics and what's being said in that song. That's what I'm kind of getting here with a song like Anxiety. That makes a lot of sense. So let's keep going. Tell me what I did to deserve this pain. Tell me what I did to deserve this hurt. When all I ever did was put everybody first. And how does that make you feel? These days, I just don't feel shit. I don't feel a thing at all. I don't feel like I exist. That's why I need my fix. So I can just feel something. So he kind of changed from like this sobbing singing kind of like with this groggy type of voice to just like snapping. And now the uh, the flow is really picking up the pace here. And there, there, it sounds like there's like a little bit of a uh, like a long brass note being held out here, which usually just cause like aggressiveness in the beat. I would say grittiness in the beat is usually what low brass sounds usually do. You hear this like yeah, let's continue here. My name is the definition. Write it on my forehead. Defective out of commission. I'm sick of it. Losing myself. I'm sick of it. Check my finger. Check. See how little the percentage is. Giving in my eyes. When the hook came in, there was um like this long drown out harmony that he did. Give him a ah or whatever it was, and it had like it was kind of stacked up with a whole bunch of different vocals there. And now he's coming in with his lightest vocal of the whole song. And it um to me it's kind of like like he was like aggressive in the beginning. And it's like oh there's so much more. That's kind of just like a light like R and B type vocal. So maybe it's like almost like the giving up stage. 
You know what I mean? That that's how I interpret it. I don't know what was going through his mind at the time, but that's kind of how I interpret it. It's kind of like a uh, weird synthesizer, maybe like a pad synthesizer, but it's like kind of has like a rhythmic type of thing going on in the background, almost like a computery sounding synthesizer. It's like you, you could really faintly hear it. And one thing I'm noticing about his voice is he's used so many different tones of voice on this song. Like he's all over the place. Does it like have to do with like, is it like, uh, is that supposed to represent personality disorder? I don't think so because I've heard some other songs from him. He kind of just has all these different voices that he uses on his song. It's different. I haven't really heard many people do that before. So let's uh let's keep checking this out. I swear to God, nobody can fix the shit, not even the church. Now tell me what could with a past to do. Except be mad at you, then tell you that you sinned a bunch of times, but I've forgiven you. You know they won't admit it, and God himself is forbid it, but it's probably still just half of all the shit the priest committed. And how does that to ask me one more time? Now So this is a pretty powerful, pretty powerful scene here. I usually don't comment on the video, but you could tell the tint, there's very low saturation here. Saturation a lot of times is associated with happiness, like really vibrant colors. This one has really low saturation, very dark. Even the sky outside is gray. I don't know if they waited for like the perfect day to shoot this or something, but it even seems like the weather outside was perfect to do what they're doing here. And this is actually especially interesting because I did work in a counseling center for some time. So this is a, uh, that's for another story, but this is a, uh, this is pretty interesting. Seen a counseling session go like that. Like the purple sky effect he's got going on there. So now you got 808s and um, he's kind of using a tom as a snare drum basically. But then there's like a snare, maybe a tom mixed with a snare mixed here. Like every time you hear that smack sound, like listen. Dude, that's a tom, that's not a snare. And the ad libs have like a lot of reverb on them. Um, you know who does that a lot? ASAP Ferg does that a lot. Like a lot of reverb on the ad libs. Uh, that's kind of what I'm hearing here. My demons are calling and saying that they want whatever's inside of me. He's brave for standing on that rock. Ain't no way, <laughs> ain't no way in, in hell I would do that. The 808s are bending, you hear that? 808s? It's like, mmm. This ending to this song here is almost like an interlude within a song. High pianos. High register pianos here. Yeah, that was a dope shot to end it there with the sunset or whatever. 
Unfortunately, it reminded me of Thanos after he wiped out half the universe in Infinity War, but that's for another story. So that's B Mike here, man. He has a so what I'm learning here now, he has like a really low tone in his voice. And one thing I'm figuring out is he uses a lot of aggression. It's funny because when you see him, like the vibe might seem like it's gonna be RB. Just something about his image just kind of to me just made me think it was gonna be like RB type music. And the first song I heard from him was kind of singing, but then all of a sudden, bam! He like he could snap just like that and it shows a lot of transparency and for a song like this i think that's really important the rawness of it i'm sure this song resonated with a lot of people who do experience anxiety but i've worked in a counseling center before so i mean i, I kind of am familiar with this type of environment that he's describing and how things work there i mean this is kind of from the perspective of somebody whose world is just flipped upside down in a bad way this song perspective isn't the hey guys we're gonna make it through everything's okay this is the no it's not okay, there's a dark cloud over us. How the hell are we gonna get through this type of thing? And I love that rawness aspect of this song. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. I'll leave the original link in the description below so you can check out his video on your own time. I got a new video dropping with an artist called Self Motivated. It's called Can't Sleep. It comes out Wednesday, January 23rd. And yeah, I don't really got much more to say other than that. I don't got a cool outro line yet, so I'll just say I appreciate you guys. Not a- Not sleeping tonight. They thinking it's outrageous Well, I don't care what no one thinks I don't mind the naysayers I'm just trying to get mine I'm just trying to get by But I can't sleep, no, no